It's Friday morning and we are in week three of the foundation block. Yesterday I recorded my workout that had some new sprinting drills as well as uh, bounding on both legs. And then I did one arm chin up progressions followed by handstand push-ups, and then finished off that workout with shoulders, biceps, triceps. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a lower body workout, but I'm starting today's workout with some dynamic climbing. So I'll be doing climb-ups and some cat-backs, then I'll be hitting the weight room, doing single leg deadlifts, step-ups, some leg raises, and calf raises. I haven't been sleeping much. So after I hit the uh, sprinting and jumping, I'm gonna go get a second coffee. This is a really good exercise to do as a bridge between rehab and actual sprinting. Bounding or striding as we say in parkour, just keeping it at about 70% effort so that I can get the coordination back without re-injuring myself. And here you can see me doing some single leg bounds on my right leg and really tiny ones on my left leg. I did this next exercise for the first time yesterday. It's called like a karaoke, karaoke. Can I rate this exercise? One star out of five karaoke's. Mm. Kafka's. It's been raining a lot and that causes the traffic out here to be noisier. There's not a whole lot I can do about it right now short of pointing the camera away from those windows which I think improves the audio a little bit. Here are a few rear delt, rotator, and scapula exercises I do before one arm chin-up progressions so that my arms don't fall off. Give up on trying to progress towards a one arm chin up years ago and then in the summer I started trying to do it again and when I first started going with my left arm it was probably like a one second drop like it was like uh, all the way down so it's feeling pretty good now. I think the hardest part about these is finding things to do with your other arm. Okay, so we got our pulley set up here. If you haven't seen this before, uh, I got weight attached on one side of the uh, strap and then it loops around and then I'll be grabbing the handle and pulling down on that as I try to do a chin up with the other hand. I've been stuck at 15 pounds assisted for a while now, but I want to try to get more volume at that weight before decreasing it. A few weeks ago, I tried dropping to just 10 pounds and I could barely just do one rep. So it does make quite a difference uh, dropping those little increments when you're using this method. You can see there that my right arm had a lot easier time than my left arm. And I've been intentionally trying not to outperform my left arm with my right arm. So if it is a hard set of three for my left arm, that's where I stop, even though it probably feels like I can do a fourth rep with my right arm. I like to take quite a bit of rest, uh, about four or five minutes in between each set because my grip, my forearms just feel totally depleted. As you know, if you do a lot of uh, high intensity pulling work. So once again, great thing to do on your upper body days in between sets is some lower body stretching. That was like two and a half 
on my left arm for my last set that was supposed to be three. I don't know if I should have, probably should have just taken more rest, but I didn't. Next, I'm going to be doing handstand push-ups. I'm going to try to do three sets of seven, and I'm only going to be taking about 90 seconds of rest in between each set. So this will show you a better pacing for your secondary movement, unlike uh, those uh, one-arm assisted chin-ups I was doing last week. biceps, triceps, which uh, you can basically have no rest in between. So I like to superset those things. I got really busy yesterday and had to skip my tempo workout. So I'm also going to be hopping on a bike after this. And then I'll be going home for a bit to eat, get some work done. And then I'm going to come back in and just do some light type of flow parkour. I spent about an hour trying to piece together a line, but it didn't quite work out. Normally I like to have my left foot up, but I'm going to be starting off with the uh, right foot up for my climb ups today. Potentially chose the uh, worst grip wall in the gym. It's mostly the hands. I got really dry hands, and because of uh, COVID, it's not really appropriate for me to blow in my hands anymore. So just kind of have to try to get them warmer. I have a bit of a moist towel that I'm using. You know, for some of you, it might be weird if you're a sweaty hand person, but for me, it makes all the difference. If I hands just a little bit moist for my climb-ups. Yeah, that, that's better. That was what we were looking for. Alright. My secret to climb-ups, it's all about uh, it's all about moisture and clean shoes. And now I'm gonna be doing uh, three sets of three cat backs, uh, also to my offside, uh, mostly because my, my left knee is still a little bit jacked up. And pacing for these, I like to go about uh, 10 to 30 seconds in between each one. That will count as a rep still, so just like for a lift, if you Miss a rep, it's still a set. Now you can almost feel sometimes by just the grip on the wall whether or not you're going to make it. So that one I just felt like I had a really good grip on there. And there you go, confidence. Locky notes. Still like kind of hard on my for my left leg. Right leg is chill though. Two weeks ago, when I started the training block, I actually couldn't really do single leg deadlifts on my left leg. You see today that just that final bit where I extend, uh, it hurts where I smashed my knee. Uh, and I told this to uh, Ian, who I'm seeing for physio every week right now, and he said 
and I'm really good at finding what hurts, which I think is a good thing because, you know, if, if I have an injury and I jump back into parkour because I think I'm 100% and I, all I've been doing is sitting around and not doing a variety of things for rehab, I could get into, uh, you know, four or five months down the line and just realize all of a sudden, like, a move feels weird. Uh, and I don't want that. I want to know early what hurts and then try to be able to figure out a way around it. So I'm, I'm doing a variety of things. split squats so I'm just gonna do the minimal amount for these because they feel like crap it's a little trick I'm trying to do if you can if you can see my feet like my foot that's on the ground and you put your foot back down try not to put the ball of your foot down try to see if you can go heel down and stay on that heel. So that way you get a little bit more bottom range with your step up. I find it, I find it really difficult with calf exercises to really tell how high I'm getting or if I'm getting high enough. So I find myself like doubting the reps sometimes and Especially when I get fatigued, it's like they all feel like partials. I don't really have a, a top five or anything for parkour exercises. But if I did, I'd definitely put leg raises in there. If you think about it, they actually help with a lot of different positions uh, for parkour. Okay, it's my last set, so I'm just gonna do some negatives. Up on two. Down on one. Come on. Oh. All right, that is it for uh, this week. We were just recording the outro, and I just realized that uh, I meant to do squats today. So, I don't know, should I do them now? Normally, I would not end a workout like this, but the weight is the same as the weight I was doing for, you know, single leg deadlifts. And I'm just going to do three reps. I'm just trying to get used to squatting again because I couldn't for four months. Uh, so I've just been doing, just been doing box squats. And so when I, two weeks from now, when I have to start doing squats, I just don't want them to feel super weird. So getting in a little bit of practice with moderate weight and then keeping the reps low is uh, something you can throw into any workout almost any time, uh, regardless of what else you're doing. So now the workout's over. Next week is going to be a deload week. The following week, I start the strength block but I'm still gonna be doing a video next week to uh, show some recovery stuff. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments for this video. And as I always say, it makes the video a little bit more successful if you do appreciate it. Probably a lot more successful if you do leave a comment. So leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week. Stay chiseled.